The 4th of July is kind of stupid. <laughs> I think the Juneteenth is more important. What makes the 4th of July stupid? Because it doesn't celebrate like the freedom of all Americans. Huh? Yes, I understand there was slavery, don't get me wrong. But there was also a Holocaust, and that was more recent than slavery. But you don't hear the Jews saying, gimme, 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 gimme. Juneteenth is, excuse me, bull****. All right, fam, so we are back at it again with another crazy video for y'all now look i know i know i know your boy feeling kind of different i got these braids in i'm feeling a little bougie you know what i'm saying i'm feeling a little bougie today my brother and my sister you know what i'm saying but enough of me man i came across this crazy video i actually seen this video in like a short form like little youtube short or whatever and i had to find the long form video of this because it was crazy it was crazy and i was like bro i gotta find a long form uh video of this specific clip that i seen so without further ado man enough talking let's get straight into the video juneteenth is excuse me which holiday do you think is more important Ju what a wonderful way to start off the freaking video <laughs> you feel me juneteenth is excuse me which holiday do you think is more important, Juneteenth or the 4th of July? Oh, far Juneteenth for me. Uh, I think they're equally important. Juneteenth, definitely. They're, they're both important. I think that it's been too long for people to actually celebrate Juneteenth. What's happening to the white people? They have a black Miss America. They have a black college. They have a black month. What do we have? And now they have Juneteenth. I'm not saying anything bad about Juneteenth, but Fourth of July is a big thing. The Fourth of July is kind of stupid. <laughs> I think the Juneteenth is more important. What makes the Fourth of July stupid? Because it doesn't celebrate like the freedom of all Americans. Huh? Independence does apply to everybody. Did you just sit here and say that the fourth of free? No. Did you just sit here and say that Independence Day don't celebrate the freedom of all Americans? I know that ain't what she said, y'all. <laughs> I know that ain't what she said. Cause it doesn't celebrate like the freedom of all Americans. It You're stupid. I'm sorry. You're literally stupid. And the fact that your boyfriend is going to sit there and let you say it. You're chewing your gum like you're pretty and stuff. You can't be pretty and stupid at the same time. It ain't a good look. At least if you're going to be pretty, at least be smart too. You're trying to be pretty. You're trying to sit pretty and smack your gum like you just some bad girl. But you're dumb. How don't independence... How, how, I, I lost my... I, I lost the brain cell. I, 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 oh, Jesus. I need to get off. Man, I lose too many brain cells watching these type of videos. That was stupid. That was the stupidest comment I have ever heard in my life. What you just said, you need everything. I, I don't know what drug you smoking. I don't know what you want. You need to stop. Seriously, you need to stop. Because what you just said was mo the most dumbest thing I have ever heard in my life. And I don't watch some dumb videos. But that right there was the worst comment ever. Ever. Independence does apply to everybody as an American, not simply as this group in America versus that group. We're all American. So I would say Juneteenth is not as important because you have to understand it in the light of the 4th of July. 4th of July celebrating just everybody else free and we were still slaves when 4th of July started. Both need to be celebrated because they're both pivotal periods in history um, that unite us. But we've been celebrating Juneteenth far before it was a national holiday. It's something more inclusive to our own communities, more representative of our freedom. Yes, I understand there was slavery, don't get me wrong. But there was also a Holocaust, and that was more recent than slavery. But you don't hear the Jews saying, gimme, 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 gimme. I think it's important to take- Okay, I, okay. Uh, <laughs> I kind of understand, but I'm not fully understanding, woman. All right, number one. Uh, yes, you're all right, you all right. I'm not, I'm not going to sit here 
and and say that black people are not the people who say give me give me give me give me they want everything okay we do have a lot of different months a lot of things that celebrate black people i totally understand that when it comes to the fourth of july and when it comes to to juneteenth my thing and my take is on this they're both equal to me now i do believe that everybody who done dealt with something in history because black people is not the only people that dealt with hell throughout history Trust me, they are not the only people. So I do recommend us, if we have a Black History Month, then we should have every other month of every other race that dealt with some type of trauma in their history also. You know what I'm saying? I also believe that veterans should have an entire month, not just one day. I believe they should have an entire month. You know what I'm saying? Because they laid their life on the line for this country. So I believe they should have an entire month. Jews, they should have an entire month. You know what I'm saying? Like, I believe that the people who dealt with things in their history should have that month also. I don't believe that it should just be Black History Month. Like, no. I don't believe that we should we should be the only race to have one whole month to ourselves. I don't believe that. You know what I'm saying? But however, when it does come to Independence Day and things like that, and you cannot say that Juneteenth is greater than Independence Day. You cannot say that Independence Day is greater than Juneteenth. They're both history. They're both, they both should be celebrated. And I'm going to celebrate Juneteenth, maybe in the future, you know what I'm saying? But I always celebrate it 4th of July. That's just how I was raised, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, why switch up now? You know, why switch up now that the fact that I was raised on celebrating 4th of July? I'm not just gonna backtrack and celebrate Juneteenth. I kind of like the 4th of July. That's when everybody's outside popping fireworks and people still do it to this day. You know what I'm saying? The, where I live at, they pop fireworks 24 7. I guarantee I probably heard one little pop, firework pop on the Juneteenth. I heard one firework pop on Juneteenth and it wasn't even a firework. It was one of the little poppers you throw on the ground. Pop! And that was it. That was a firework for the night. I mean, everybody has their different ways or whatever you want to celebrate. You celebrate how you want to celebrate. I don't say that one is greater than the other. That's just my opinion. Y'all let me know what y'all think of the comment section below. Do you feel like Juneteenth is greater than four, uh, the 4th of July, Independence Day? Or do you feel like Independence Day is greater than Juneteenth? Y'all let me know in the comment section below. But without further ado, take pride in our own country, but also to remember that there were really hard times. Juneteenth was just passed, and so that celebrates the emancipation of slaves, and July 4th is when the Declaration of Independence was signed and we separated from Great Britain. What's the point of Juneteenth? What is it? I don't know. It's important to celebrate the end of... Okay, that lady... <laughs> Look... <laughs> I understood, uh, but you're losing me now. You just said, what's the point of celebrating Juneteenth? Oh, my gosh. Some people just don't deserve the time of day. Like, I, I got what she was saying about the whole gimme, gimme, gimme thing. But let's not be so naive to the simple fact of what happened and, you know, why people celebrate Juneteenth. Me personally, like I said, me personally, like, bro, I'm just being honest. I'm, I'm seriously being honest. Obviously, I won't celebrate it. You know what I'm saying? I just won't celebrate. That's just me. But other black people that do celebrate, celebrate it. Do what you do. I'm going to continue to celebrate Independence Day. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to continue to celebrate on that day. That's just me personally. But if you choose to celebrate Juneteenth, do what you do. You know what I'm saying? It's no hard feelings over here. I don't care what people celebrate. People have, I have learned to come to the conclusion that everybody's going to have a different perspective. Everybody's going to have a different opinion on everything. So whether you whether you want to celebrate it or not, but I'm not going to sit here and say, what's the point of celebrating Juneteenth? I know the history behind it, and I know why people are celebrating it. Same thing with the 4th of July. I'm not going to celebrate anything I don't know the history on. I know the history behind these things, but I'm going to, keep, I'm going to, keep, I'm going to continue to celebrate what I choose to celebrate. But I'm not going to be so naive and say, oh, well, what's the point of Juneteenth? Just tell me, what's the point of it? Like, I'm not going to sit here and say that. It's like me saying, what's the point of 4th of July? I don't know. Like, like, come on. Now. Like, don't, you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, like, don't take it to, don't take it to that level. I get what you're saying about the whole gimme, but you're losing me now. An owning of people, which should have never happened in the first place. We do a lot of ancestral, um, like, healing and work um, together as a family. So I'm not going to lie to you, I just kind of learned about Juneteenth a little bit ago. It's kind of sad that I just recently learned about this in my life. It was never like an official holiday until now, so it's okay, amazing wow. that it's finally been recognized. We've known and celebrated for forever, and I think now it's starting to get the, uh, the credit that it deserves. It's, it's been too long. Freedom is important to people who have been in slavery. 
It's actually quite good that the Quakers did not believe in slavery. What do, what do you think is more important, Juneteenth or Fourth of July? What you say, Juneteenth? Man, don't, don't. Juneteenth. I say Juneteenth. Why Juneteenth? But I don't know. No. What do you think is most important, Juneteenth or the Fourth of July? Ah, I say Juneteenth. Why do you think so? I don't know. Like, bro, just, oh my God. Put on a shirt, first of all. Get yourself together. Because I, like, come on now. Talk about, I, I don't know. Like, I don't know why I say it's so important. Like, bro, what? You know what I'm saying? But y'all let me know in the comment section below how y'all feel about this. Do you feel like yourself, the Juneteenth, is more important than Independence Day? Or do you feel like they both equal? Do you feel like they both should be celebrated no matter what? You know what I'm saying? I'm not against neither one. You feel me? I'm not against Juneteenth. You know what I'm saying? I'm not against 4th of July. I'm not against that. Now, the day that the day that they make Juneteenth the, the point over and they take, like, 4th of July away, that's when it becomes a problem. But I doubt they ever do that, okay? I doubt I doubt they would ever take the take away 4th of July as a national I doubt that. If they ever do that, bro, oh, now, now it's up in the stuck. You know what I'm saying? But Juneteenth and 4th of July definitely should be celebrated. And like I said, I feel like every everybody who has some... Because every race done had history. Every culture doesn't have some type of history. I feel like everybody should have a month. You know what I'm saying? I don't think black people should be getting everything. I don't think they should have this month because of slavery. Because then you got so many different things that happened over time in history that was trauma. You know what I'm saying? That, you know what I'm saying? Like, everybody done been through something. Everybody done been through something, whether that's now or way back then. But even our ancestors. Everybody ancestors done been through some type of hell. So I believe that everybody should have some type of month. You know what I'm saying? To dedicate towards the history. You feel me? Not just black people. But of course, black people get everything that they want. You know what I'm saying? And they want more. They want more and more and more and more and more. You know what I'm saying? AD, you got presidents like Biden who's going to continue to give it to him. Because I don't know. He's going to continue to give it to him. Like, oh man, this is crazy. But uh, y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below. Uh, do, like, how do y'all feel about this uh, type of uh, situation? I also make a poll, and then whatever y'all say on the poll, I just know how y'all feel about the situation. But y'all let me know, man. I love each and one of y'all, man. I thank y'all so much for all the love and support. Recently, I've been grinding, grinding, grinding. Three videos a week. I feel like that's reasonable, you know what I'm saying? But if you are new and you have not yet, or if you are watching and recurring, you know, subscriber, and you have not went to my podcast channel, you need to go check it out, okay? So definitely subscribe to the podcast channel, man. It's up and it's stuck. I love each and every one of y'all. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.